Remember that our scapula comes this way, right? And so we have to do a posterior lateral to stay parallel with our glenoid fossa, right? You guys see that? Okay. So I'm going to make sure, big things on this. You have to tell your patient to relax. If you don't verbally say relax, you miss a point. Because if they're not relaxed, you won't be able to do your mobilization. So verbally say, relax. All right, even if they are relaxed. So we're going to do slight traction, and then we're going to do a posterior lateral mobilization with oscillations. Does anybody remember how many oscillations per second I'm doing? One to three. One to three. How many, about how many seconds am I treating? It's about 20. We're going to go with 20, okay? If we're doing pain, we can go for longer periods of time, but we're going to do 20 seconds. All right, and I need you to know the difference between a two, three, and a four. Because I'm, I'm going to ask you to do a either grade two, grade three, or grade four. And even though I can't see it necessarily, I just need you to be able to verbalize where you're going with it, okay? Um, and on the test, I will say please do a joint mobilization to include two, four, short flexion. All right. So I'll be, all right, I'll even say posterior mobilization is complete shoulder flexion. So I'll differentiate between whether you need posterior or whether you need interior. So be really specific. Um, if we do, if we want to improve abduction, how do we do that? What direction? Interior. Good. So two ways we can do it, interior mode, and both are acceptable. One is all I'm doing is sticking my hand in G's armpit, and then I'm using this hand to do interior oscillations on our humerus. Okay? So that's one. Option two. She's going to grab my big old gun here. Relax this arm. We go here, we find bone, 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 not bone. So that's where the web space of my hand is going. We're going to do slight traction. And then we do our oscillations from right here. Okay? Um, if we want to improve shoulder extension. Anterior glide, right? The anterior glide will also help external rotation. So I'm going to have Beagle on her stomach. And this one you will only be doing grade one or two on. I'm going to get off a little more G. All right, so if on her stomach, her scapula is now going, is in this angle here, so we have to do our mobilization anterior medial, right? So we stay parallel with the glenoid fossa. Everybody's following me on that, right? Yes? Okay, so I'm going to have slight traction. I still need her in loose pack position, just as if she was on her back. So if you have her shoulder up here, you're winding up the capsule. So loose pack position, I'm going to rest her arm on my side, slight traction, and then I'm doing anterior medial mobilization right here. Okay, there's the shoulder practice of 